Hello everybody, uh, James from Jamrose Electronic Solutions. I have a, a gentleman that I know came to me this morning um, with a wiper motor issue for a Mercedes-Benz, the one, uh, A180D. The motor, the wiper motor, the wipers are not working. So uh, he asked me to check, you know, the fuses and and the fuse for the wiper motor is this one here fuse 44 that's the wiper motor fuse so i checked this fuse and everything was fine so because at the moment i didn't have a diagram for for this car and i wasn't sure if it was on auto data so i um i i relied on on the YouTube videos that he was showing me because he had already gone through YouTube stuff and so which is okay um, that's what we want to see people do and um, so he came with a YouTube video I watched that YouTube video all that I saw was that and then I realized that uh oh there is no one really you know giving us a proper you know like wiring diagram or how to test this motor if in case this is an issue so now i just want to take you through that and show you uh where to go and maybe how to do it i did not get a chance to work on a car at the time because i didn't have a wiring diagram so now i was just thinking should i make a video without you know the car in front of me but i thought yes let me make one in case someone is in need of this uh, information. So now, this is our our fuse for uh, for the wipers, and I said it was perfect. So now, just for the sake of you knowing what is in here, um, I will just highlight some of these, you know, so that you can see what they do. You know, I know you might be in need of all this, right? So let me highlight these. While well, least we are here, someone will need this information and they can actually see uh, where to go and get it. There you go. So I'll highlight all of these so that at least you have. These ones are not highlighting. Oh, they are the, they are the ones of this side, so don't worry. And here is 40 there. Forty one is not showing. There's forty two. There's forty three for you. I'm just picking up, you know, uses that so that someone can be can get help from these. Okay. There you go. I'll just go through more. We come to that one and that one. There you go. So here is another one. Uh, let me move that one so that at least you can see what they are. I know there's very little information out there, guys. So knowing what these fuses are doing can be very, very, very helpful. Okay. I know it might appear as if I'm wasting your time, but no. I just want you to, you know, to, let me move that. Right. So I'll go to the relays. Let's go with relay number one is empty. Relay number two, there's your engine control. Relay number three is empty. Four. Okay. Then there is five ignition main relay. Two. Relay number six ignition main relay. One. Number seven is blank. Number eight is your starter motor. So I think out of all this information, uh, someone someone will benefit from this okay and now let me go out of this 
some of the fuses you are going to find in the footwell on the passenger side okay this is what you are going to find in there all right i'm not going to go through all these fuses to be honest with you um but let me just see the relay there is a relay there okay we just have two relays right so this information here these fuses are in the footwell on the passenger side you've got to rip the carpets right underneath the carpets that's where that's where you're going to find this information and i've been updated by a colleague you know from mercedes-benz told me that the sum which we thought that it was in the center console it is not it is actually with these fuses that i'm showing you that are in the footwell beside that there's a sum uh you know module in there and that sum module is responsible for the wiper system so now um the, since there's no um auto data doesn't it doesn't give us you know the, the wiring diagrams uh let me show you what we have here so auto data does not let's see and i it doesn't give us even for the engine management system there's no wiring diagram and you know usually when you come to electrical here it will give you different electrical wiring diagrams no there's nothing so there's very little that we have here except you know for the fuses so i will move on uh, to another system um so that we can let me, let me now let's look uh, at the bosch okay we want to look at the bosch wiring diagram and this is the wiring diagram here so i'm going to make it bigger okay bigger and better so what we have maybe let me start at the bottom what we have uh, yeah i want to make it bold and so what we have is the wiper motor okay and the wiper motor has got these three important wires here let's talk about these wires as you can see our wiper motor is electronically controlled so you um you are going to see uh a lot there is a communication system a lean bus system here that controls that so let's start with uh, our pin number one our pin number one is coming from pin number 55 from the uh, central electronics module okay which is the sum okay that's the lean bus module and what i want you to pay attention is here you have a bi-directional information is coming from the from this module which is the uh, the sum and it's also going to this module so there is information that is coming here to the wiper motor there's information coming from the wiper motor to the sum so that's why you find that we have got these two triangles here pointing in different direction and if you're not sure the color for this wire is bk so it's black and yellow okay so bkye that's black and yellow uh very rare for uh, for bosch to give you color codes they run away from that they don't want you know to give color codes but yeah there you go so this is the area where you will need the scope okay you'll need the scope here remember this is battery voltage uh, if your battery is 14 it'll be 14 if it's 12 it'll be 12. so this is battery voltage and you get a lean bus pattern i am informed that's that's where the issue is if you do not have a a, a scope you can use uh, a multimeter uh, but you really need know how to use your multimeter uh, your voltmeter you can actually check that but it will be you know it will be jumpy so now let's go to the other wires so we have got this red and black let's see where the red and black wire this is our second wire that is going to that is coming uh, to uh, to the wiper motor this is pin number four 
okay it will be pin number four and this uh, black and red wire that's our battery okay this is our power let's follow it this is our power it is fused fuse number 44 the one that i showed you on auto data that green fuse that 30 amp fuse fuse number 44 that's the one that supplies power to this wire straight this is a fuse box okay that's the fuse box there's a module in the fuse box you know under under the fuses there's a module so that's that goes straight uh to the wiper motor so we've got two wires now this one and that's one power and then our lean bus and we have got pin number three which is our ground okay so pin number four power pin number three ground pin number one lean bus all right i think that is clear while least we are here let me just show you something that is not uh you know it's not far from what we are doing this is another wiper motor okay this one is for the rear all right that's a wiper motor for the rear and you want to see it goes in here pin 18 pin 24 all right that's that's in the in the module here in the sum right so that's the rear wiper motor okay let's see if there's anything else that can be helpful in here let's exhaust everything so that you know it's many times it's not many times when you get hold of some of these wiring diagrams i know i've got colleagues i've just received uh, an e a message on whatsapp from south africa and this gentleman is saying to me thank you very much you know for i didn't he says he didn't know i'll i'll, I'll show you his uh his message here it's, it's it's encouraging you know when you you get people saying thank you um because i know that there are people that would sell some of this information but i'm not selling this information i'm just giving you to you i'll give it to you colleagues I know very well that this information can make me a lot of money, but I'm not selling it. I'm just giving it to you so that, you know, you can learn and be better at what you do. So now, sorry for my rumbling there. Um, these are heaters for the, for the uh, spray jets. Okay. These are the, for the, these are the heaters. But what I wanted to show you, uh, this here, so that's 27 see that one that's the washer motor okay this is the washer motor and let me show you where pin one and two are going to on the module so that you know both both ends right that's them there as this is the washer motor that's pin one and two become 12 and 13 this side all right so uh, i think this motor is one it's driven one side one becomes negative the other one is positive driven the other side the other one becomes a, a, a negative like that they should swap i could be wrong but that's what i think happens here so this is the wiper system for a mercedes-benz 2018 mercedes-benz it's an a class okay it's a 180d this is the wiring diagram that you may need whenever you have an issue with your wipers and they are not working and you check the fuses and then you find that the fuses are fine and yet this problem is still there so let me i i reached out uh i reached out to a gentleman that was before i saw this wiring diagram on on um on the bosch system so i i, I reached out to to a gentleman and i hope let me see if i can be able to expand that yeah i should be able to expand that 
and look so we have this side a central control module okay and that's pin 55 that's your lean bus there and as you can see you've got a black and white you have got a, a, a black and yellow wire and it comes to the motor that's your pin one and then if we come to the fuse box the engine compartment right that fuse box that's fuse uh, number 44 that i was showing you it's a 30 amp fuse it's a green fuse uh, it is a red and black wire as you can see it goes to pin number four and then lastly we have the ground that is a brown wire that goes to pin number three so the information that i reached out to the guys in, in mercedes uh matched exactly what i have uh on on the bosch system it matched exactly what i have on the bosch system so i'm glad that you know i've got the right information here so i think i'm ready for this car anytime this car will come to me i will create a video then you can see how i'm fixing it i'm going to use a scope you know to scope that lean bus wire but otherwise um look i'm happy i hope you'll be happy with this information that i've given you and i uh, really appreciate you all for your support jungles electronic solutions we are growing every time and please would you consider subscribing and could you pass these videos to your friends share them with your friends please so that um you know the channel can grow even faster thank you very much i bow out